Pacific Guardians, I'm Kellen Rowley, and this is Everything 38. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the ACFT. As you know, individual readiness is an essential component of unit readiness. And to that end, the Army has launched the ACFT. As you might have heard, the ACFT 3.0 recently was introduced in the last couple of weeks. You might have seen the changes on social media or heard about them from your leadership. One of the major changes is the introduction of the plank event, which can be done as an alternate to the leg tuck event. Additionally, there's a mandate for all soldiers to take the ACFT not later than 31 August of this year. I want everybody to understand that the ACFT right now is a diagnostic. You can take the ACFT as many times as you would like. It doesn't matter if you pass, it doesn't matter if you fail. All that matters right now is that you get out there, you practice it, you have fun with it, have competitions with it, and do the best you can in taking with it. The reason for it is the Army needs to collect as much data as possible to determine the final form of the ACFT. As it stands right now, the test is gender neutral and doesn't have any categories for age. That could change in the future. We're not sure right now, but the data collection that comes from you taking this test prior to 31 August will inform whether the Army does move into categories for gender or age. Bottom line, get out there, take the test, have fun with it, there's no, no harm in not being successful with the test. In fact, it'll build your confidence the more you take it. So I'd like to encourage everyone to do it as much as possible. Good morning, First Sergeant. Hi, August. I'm Oz. What do you think about the ACFT? I freaking love it. Absolutely love it. There you go. It's free PT. Okay. I think the ACFT is definitely an improvement, better than the APFT. You incorporate more uh, muscles rather than just the push-up and sit-ups and the running event. I think it's more inclusive. Uh, I know in the beginning there was a problem with a lot of people who weren't able to pass certain events. And, uh, you know, I think these changes they made kind of uh, clues into. And uh, yeah, I think it's, it's come a long way since they've started. The improvements I saw with the ACFT basically was them tailoring to people who whose body uh, composition or their physical abilities couldn't compete with things like the leg tug or even possibly making a, a 12 minute, two mile run after all the events were completed. They did adjust the standards for the sprint drag carry as well. So they're tailoring to what soldiers can actually do. And I, I, I think that's possibly gonna motivate the soldiers to actually want to do it. Um, as far as the plank event now, in correlation with the leg tug, I think that was a good thing. Um, but I also do like the fact that they upped the plank event to 4 minutes and 20 seconds. That way it mototivates soldiers to just try to train for the leg tuck. 15, 0, 3, 4, 5, 6. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Everything 38 by Valorant Power.